Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. Let's take one more question. dy by dx plus 2y is equal to sin x. We'll compare this guy with uh, py is equal to q. I get p is equal to q and q is equal to sin x. if is very easy to find. e to the power integration of p that is 2 dot dx that is e to the power 2x. I got if. So my equation is y into if is equal to q into if integration dot dx plus c or y into e to the power 2x is equal to integration of q is sin x into e to the power 2x plus c. That is what I get. Now the trick here is to find the integration of this. So if you find the integration of this, which uh, you have to spend a lot of time on that, uh, you can use the, you can refer my videos on integrals where I have found uh, the integration of all such kind of questions. Then you'll get this value as, I'll just write the value I want to solve for you. E to the power 5 to sin x minus plus x. So this is a little tricky part. You have to use a lot of integration formulas to solve this. You'll get this as a value. Correct. So my solution is still same. So I get y as 1 by 5 2 sin x minus cos x plus c c e to the power minus 2x and that is my answer. So here in this question this is a lengthy part so I am not solving this because in this chapter we are not concerned about learning how to integrate sin x into e to the power 2x. That thing we have covered in the integral chapter. Here we know I am more interested in finding the uh, solution for this differential equations. Let's take one more example. Cos square x dy by dx plus y is equal to 10x. So this equation I can write in this form dy by dx plus y by cos square x is equal to 10x by cos square x. Right? So my p is 1 by cos square x, that is 6 square s. p is 6 square x, that is the value of p. And q is tan x by cos square x, so I can say 6 x, 6 square x, tan x. This is the value of p and q. Same thing I'll do here, I'll also find i f first. e to the power integration of p dot dx, that is e to the power integration of 6 square x dx right that is e to the power tan x this is my if my solution is y into if is equal to integration of q dot if dot dx plus some constant so you get y into e to the power tan x is equal to integration of q is what 6 square x 10x into if is e to the power 10x right dx plus c so here you can take uh, e to the power 10x as t actually so this becomes e to the power t t into uh, 1 minus t square actually so if you solve this guy if you solve this guy what you'll get is tan x minus 1 e to the power tan x. This is what you get. So not that difficult. Actually you can just put tan x equal to 2 t. Right. So you get 6 square x becomes 1 minus tan square 1 minus t square into t into e to the power t. Sorry this is anyway gone actually with, with, with dt actually. So you got t e to the power t only. Right. So you can solve this very easily. So not a big uh, not a difficult integration. So you get this value. Now to find y, I get y is equal to tan x minus 1 plus c into e to the power minus tan x and that is my answer. 
nothing great here. We just found that this equation is of the form first order linear differential equation. Use the formula which you derive, found the IF. The solution is y into IF is equal to integration of QIF dx plus c. Let's take one example x dy by dx plus 2y is equal to x square log x. You rearrange, you get dy by dx plus 2 by x into y is equal to x log x. This becomes p and this whole thing becomes q. Right? So p is 2 by x and q is x log x. Finding if is not that difficult. e to the power integration of p dot dx that is e to the power integration of 2 by x dx that is e to the power 2 log x that is e to the power log x square and that is x square. So if is x square. Solution is y into if is equal to q into if integration dot dx plus c. So y into x square is equal to integration of q that is x log x into if that is x square dot dx plus c. Correct. So now we have to find the integration of this that is log x into x q. Right. So if you solve this, I won't solve this for you. You can solve this. This comes out to be log x into x to the power 4 by 4 minus x 4 by 16 plus c. That's what you get. Correct. So this is y x square because this whole thing gives this values. So now y or this is my answer actually you can say or you can say that y into x square is going to 1 by 16 if you take common this becomes log of x 4 log of x into x to the power 4 also take common minus 1 plus c that is my answer. Let's take one more 1 plus x square dy plus 2xy dx is equal to cot x dx. So rearrange everything. So if you rearrange everything, what you get is dy by dx plus 2xy by 1 plus x square is equal to cot x by 1 plus x square. You divide everything by 1 plus x square. So this guy becomes p, this guy becomes q. That is p is 2x by 1 plus x square and q is cot x by 1 plus x square. Correct? This is cot. So I got the value of p and q. Integrating factor I can find is nothing but e to the power p dot dx. That is e to the power integration of 2x by 1 plus x square dx. And that is if you see e to the power log of 1 plus x and this guy is nothing but 1 plus x. So I got the value of if. So my solution is y into if is equal to integration of q dot if dot dx plus some constant that is y into 1 plus x square because if is 1 plus x square. So the integration of q that is cot of x by 1 plus x square into if that is 1 plus x square dot dx some constant so it gets cancelled. So integration of cot x is nothing but log of sin x. This is log of mod of sin x plus x. So that is my solution. y into 1 plus x square is equal to log of sin x plus x. Correct. So not that difficult such a complex equation but we just solved it using the approach. One more question, x plus 3y square dy by dx is, is equal to y. So restructure this, you get dy by dx is equal to y by x plus 3y square. So if you see, this is not a homogeneous differential equation. So we can't use that. So let's break this. So if you see dy by dx is this form, right? So it's difficult for me to form dy by dx form. If I flip it, 
I can easily get the answer. So let's see that. If you say dx by dy, this becomes x by y plus 3y square by y. Correct. Or I get dx by dy minus x by y is equal to 3y. So in this case, my p will be 1 by y, sorry, minus 1 by y, and q will be 3y. So my if will be e to the power p dot dy here. This becomes e to the power minus 1 by y dy. That is e to the power minus log y. That is that is e to the power log of 1 by y and that is 1 by y. Please note e to the power minus log y is not minus y, it is 1 by y. It is a critical step here. e to the power minus log y is 1 by y. Correct? So I got if as 1 by y. So my solution in this case will be x into if, where is dx by dy form is equal to integration of q into if dot dy plus constant. Correct? So this becomes x into if, that is x 1 by y is equal to integration of q 3y into if is again 1 by y dy plus c gets cancelled. So this becomes 3y plus c. So I get x as 3y squared plus c. That is my solution, general solution for this. So not that difficult. The only thing was here we got dy by dx as this. It was difficult to solve, so I just flipped it, right? The, this step is critical here. So it got dx by dy is equal to, I got this form. dx by dy is equal to p of x plus uh, d of d, d x by dy plus p of x is equal to q. So I got p and I got q. I got if and one more step here is critical is e to the power minus log y is 1 by y, not, not minus y. How? Because e to the power minus log y is e to the power log of 1 by y. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.